This is Patty Robertson at Tidewater Homes. Today I'm out at 1339 Maltby Ave doing a move out for Natasha Beasley. Today is April 1st, 2014. Unfortunately, she turned the power off. First thing you'll notice is that it is just absolutely filthy. All the floors and baseboards, window sills, Blinds, nothing was cleaned. Walk in, walk the door behind us. Walk in, first thing we have is the bathroom on the downstairs. Unfortunately, there's no light, there's no power. So, um, as far as I can tell, the bathroom looks okay. Looks like she replaced the toilet seat. We're going to have to replace that for the next tenant. Floors have some buckling. I don't know what that's due to, but these are laminate floors. As you see, there is some buckling in them. Here's the great room. For the most part, we're not too bad in here. We do have a broken screen here. And then on the other, if you open it up, it's hard to see with the camera, but right behind it, on the screen in exactly the same place, the screen has a hole in it, so it looks like they had the windows open with the screen, and uh, somebody threw something and it hit the, it went through both the screen and the shade. Um, have some sliding glass doors over here. We do have a broken slat, so that's gonna have to be replaced. Um, kitchen, just absolutely filthy. I mean, from the floors to the appliances. Um, Again, I don't have any flashlight here. Let me grab that. This border seen better days. That's got to come down before we move the next tenant in. Um, the outside of the stove, totally filthy. And then inside, just, I mean, just disgustingly filthy. It's going to work. I have to pay a fortune to get that cleaned. Uh, that's the stove. The racks are in place. I don't know what happened here underneath the sink. Uh, it looks like the vinyl that used to be here. Well, no, that's shelf paper. So shelf paper was down and it's just filthy. Filthy, filthy, dirty. And we do have uh, some damage to the transition strip here on the floor as well. Maybe some furniture grabbed it. Now we're going to head upstairs. This is a great house, three bedroom, uh, two and a half bath, has a half bath downstairs, two baths upstairs. Got a little spot here on the wall, looks like they got a hole and tried to fix it but didn't do a very good job. Strange smell, almost like wet carpet, um, but it doesn't appear as though they tried to clean the carpets. If they did, they, they destroyed them because that, I don't know what that is, it's some kind of an ink stain. Uh, we go up. Here, light fixtures in good shape. Uh, the blinds that are in the foyer are in good shape. Go into the first bedroom. This one has the worst. It's like I don't know what they did. This kid did to the floors, but he's ripped pieces out of it. Uh, just chunks. Scratch it up. Another chunk out. Definitely not normal wear and tear on the floors in here. Floor spots. They're just like dug pieces up. Um, looks like, I don't know if a carpet, but the transition strip was never put in place there in the, in the bedroom, but it needs to be. Again, just more levels of dirt. It wasn't clean. This is bedroom one. There we have another spot that looks like they tried to patch a hole in the wall, but just didn't do a very good job of it. Bathroom up here. Oh, also on this door, this door has been broken. It looks like the tenant tried to fix it. We've got two cracks in the door that were not fixed well. Bathroom, this is the main hall bath. Missing the stopper. And I look like they weren't using the vent. I know the vent worked in here because we did a section inspection with the move in. Uh, but it looks like they weren't using the vent and caused the light to. Um, 
Oh, to rust. Same thing here. There's just moisture, moisture damage in this bathroom caused by not using the vent properly. Towel racks are missing in here. Toilet paper holders missing. Feeling of pain again, probably from the moisture, from lack of vent use. That's the bathroom. Closet looks fine. It's dirty, you know, that it hasn't been cleaned, but other than that, there's no damage. Second bedroom is in much better shape. No problem with the walls. No problem with the doors. Well, there is these, there are these little spots that they patched on the walls. Um, the floor is just a couple spots. It's like bleach spot, spots when they try to clean it. I think that repair is a prior repair that the owner did. So all in all, bedroom two, not so bad. The hallway, the carpet, that, I mean, that, we can't, either we have to get that spot out or we have to replace it because we can't deliver it to a tenant like that. Uh, washer dryer are in place, although they're dirty. Now this room, there's the master. I don't know what's going on with this carpet. I don't know if it's going to come up across well on video. But this carpet is striped. It looks like maybe they brought in a carpet cleaner, but it didn't suck any of the dirt out of the carpet. It just moved it around because I, I mean, I've run my foot over these stripes and it's not, it's not from like vacuum stripes. It doesn't take them out. It's colored areas of carpet. Like those dark stripes to me look like dirt. Um, and it, the carpet is not really, it's not popped up. It's just, uh, where the dirt's been moved around. It's very bizarre. I've never seen anything like that before. So hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe she used a, um, you know, a low-grade carpet cleaner. And if we get a professional carpet cleaner in here, we can get those cleaned up, I hope. Master bath. Uh, looks like a drawer was missing. She tried to fix that and did but didn't paint it. Got some chipping paint here. Same thing in here. It looks like for some reason this family didn't like to use the vents. So the light fixture has rusted out, although the vent did work upon move-in. And it moved it, you know, at the interim inspection too. No problem with the screens. The fixtures are in place, no problem there. The tub, um, looks like we might have to replace this again, but the, um, the stopper is there. Everything's in place, all that's fine. Light fixture again, just rusty a little bit. That light fixture's fine. No problem with the screens in here. The spot, there's a lot of little tiny holes in the walls that they try to patch up. So it's going to need to be painted for the next tenant. I think I got that hole on the way down. All in all, a great house. Just needs a little TLC to get the next tenant moved in. This is Patty Robertson with Tidewater Homes. Today is April 1st, 2014. We're doing the Natasha Beasley move out inspection at 1339 Maltby Avenue, Norfolk. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.